I wanted to ask about if you guys are going to come here anytime soon. We don't think so. Why? Well, we thought we were, but it's just, I don't know, there's too much going on, you know. I want to see mom. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, well, so do you think you'd be able to come in like seven and a half months? What is that? Like right after Christmas? Maybe. Yeah, either like November, December. Um, the beginning of January would be the best, probably, or around that time. Well, that's when dad usually goes back to work. Well, do you want to be here for the birth? What? She's gonna see that face. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> She's Did Egypt cry. <laughs> no one knows. She's pregnant. <laughs> out right now when I get back home I'll probably do some extra stretches and lunges and squats I mean I can do it here I'm at five and a half months now it's crazy that I'm over halfway to the day of the baby's birth it's actually gone by pretty slow I think the second half is gonna go by a lot faster for the first half, I was just waiting, waiting, waiting for belly to show because I knew at six weeks that I was pregnant. So now that it's showing and growing daily, definitely weekly, it's fun. <laughs> and I'm trying to get some vitamin D because the, this part of my body gets no sun, nor my legs. It's really just like arms and chest and even that stuff I try to keep protected because the sun is so powerful here. We're getting up at 5.45 every morning right now. And so by 11 a.m. I am like exhausted. I have to lie down. Sometimes I don't even make it to lunch because <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, especially if I'm doing physical things. Even if I'm not doing, honestly, if I'm sitting on a chair doing computer work, I'm more tired by 11 o'clock. So rainy season is coming. And this river, I hope, is just gonna be flowing while retaining a lot of water. It is so dry. No ganchis munachis parata. It's getting more uncomfortable to bend over. And I bend over all day. So I grew some mushrooms in here maybe like five or six months ago and they did really well. We took some time, like a month from the spawn that I put in here, but the cold, the, our winter came and burned the mushrooms. So I'm starting over again. I already have the substrate pasteurized, but I am concerned. I'll show you my jar up the spawn, it's not producing like it did last time. My spawn, I could actually see the pink oysters in the jar, but um, I think I put a little too much of the like balanceado, like this flower grain in it, so it doesn't have a lot of space to breathe. So I just don't know if this trial is kind of, I mean, no trial is a waste of time. I'm learning as I go, like how sensitive these are. I propagated the mycelium that I got from a friend with honey and water. And that's where I was like, I don't know if I did this right or if it's gonna work. Um, but there's definitely some fungus 
in this jar. So what I'm doing right now is I'm cleaning the space where I grew them last time. We have an idea for a mushroom space. Simon um, started building another deposito, like another little storage space. But I don't know if, if mushrooms are going to be a priority there or if we're going to use it for storage. So I'm going to do another bucket in here before we start doing this on like a larger scale that we can trade and sell and gift and just eat an abundance of mushrooms. I'm so excited. But first things first, sterilization. I'm very interested to see what the inside of my old bucket looks like that's been sitting for a couple of months. Yeah, lots of, lots of fungi. So the last, the problem I had last time was that this lid wasn't completely clean. Like I sterilized it, but because it had been used before, there was just stuff trapped. I couldn't get out. Like I used a toothbrush. I used a lot of things. So I got a pretty close to new bucket, but I'm just going to reuse this one with the new bucket lid. And then I'll use maybe this bucket next time, but it's just because I don't feel like drilling more holes into the sides. So I'm doing six, six holes on the bottom for it to be able to breathe and also stuff can escape out. I can't remember the reason for it exactly, but. There we go. So I used a 3 8 inch drill bit. Okay, so here's my spawn. I hope it's not contaminated. Yeah, you can see some fungus down in there, but I don't think it has enough space to breathe. So I, all of this could be kind of for nothing, but I want to use this. Let it go to waste. Okay, so right here I have my sugar cane, just like I did last time. So I'm gonna do a layer of sugar cane once I wring this out. And then I have some astilla de madera, like some wood chips that I soaked in a lime bath, just like I did last time as well with a little bit of gypsum. So we're gonna layer those with some corn spawn, grain spawn, just do that all the way up to the top. I should have a volunteer working with me on this because it's just un easier and uncomfortable for me to do little things. And I'm only a little over five months pregnant and I'm already uncomfortable. <laughs> Not like normally, but whenever I'm working like this. I'm... All done. That was the perfect amount used up everything. Okay. Yay. Now I just got to get my little water spray bottle and twice a day, at least, depending on how the weather is here, I'm going to be spraying the outside of this bucket, turning it around. Ch -ch -ch keeping it moist. I might open it in like two weeks just to make sure there's no contamination. Yeah, and then we'll see if some mushrooms come in. Mm. It's six o'clock in the morning. I just got news that a baby rabbit was found in one of the cages. I didn't know I was pregnant. <laughs> it's not good, actually, that she's she gave birth in this cage. Let's see if it's alive. Imparto trabajo, tal vez. Very small. It could be that, yeah. Todavía. Tal vez lo que vamos a hacer es llevar esas dos a la casa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sí. Yeah. You know, and put it in the needle. Yeah, yeah right away, yeah. Huh? My heart hurts too bad to. And I have to make breakfast. <laughs> I just, I'm too worried. We've had a couple animals die around here lately and I just can't handle it right now. Baby Conejo looks really 
okay, but it just, the mom has to take care of it. And the fact that she's not in a place where she has like a nest built already for it. Yeah, it's a little worrisome. Definitely, she's probably still in the middle of labor. Rabbits don't give birth to one rabbit unless it's like a sick rabbit or there's dead ones in her or something. Like minimum, there's usually seven. up here, wet cat. Freddy already ate, don't worry about him. I have some medicine in there for him. I'm wondering if he's tasting it, but it won't stop him. The reason I have some medicine in his food is because he has this weird cough. Rocky has it too, and um, I think it's from them drinking the black water that they're watering their crops with at our neighbors because it's super dry here. We have water for them here a lot, but, but when they roam off and they see water, it's like, <gasps> they get excited. I think they've been drinking that. Oh, joy. Hi, baby boy. That's my big boy. Look how big my puppy is, guys. He's my baby. You're a little sick, huh? He's a little sick. I want to show you guys our bunnies and also go check on them. Every afternoon from like noon till three o'clock, I'm hiding out in our bedroom, in our bed, because it is hot. So hot right now. I don't remember it always being this hot. Maybe I'm more sensitive because I'm, I'm pregnant. Um, but I'm exhausted. And we don't have a lot of indoor space here where we live, so I'm in bed. And I need a nap anyways because I'm exhausted every day. If you're wondering what this is, it's my like over the shoulder boulder holder to keep my straps from like burrowing into my shoulder, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I don't feel like fixing that right now. So I think I, I showed you guys um, the baby bunny that was born yesterday morning. And today's Simon's birthday. We had a beautiful breakfast this morning and he shares the same birthday now as four other baby rabbits. <laughs> We were wondering what was going on because usually rabbits give birth to like 7 or 12 to 12 in a litter and we only had one yesterday so I figured she was probably still in the middle of labor but we were moving her around a lot trying to get her to a comfortable space so we knew she needed some space to like feel safe before she continued and sure enough this morning there were five more one was born 
dead straight away, but the other four were doing really well. I'm about to check again, but so crazy. So we moved the mom and her baby to like the old rabbit house where we used to keep them in the back corner of our property so she could have her own private space and it's more rustic and like natural to their natural habitat, you know? I went in there like to check on the rabbits, the baby, the baby bunny, the one baby bunny multiple times. And the first time I went, there were these two bugs, like this size, sucking on its blood from like out of the wall. I freaked out, I killed one straight away and the other one got away because I was trying to get a picture of it. So I left, came back an hour later, it was there. And um, I, th I think I missed it again, trying to get another photo because Simon was thinking it was probably this bug that causes heart, like long-term heart disease in adult humans. So I, I, we didn't know for sure. And I didn't think it was because I've seen that bug before and it didn't look the same. But um, so I came back again later and as I'm, and I brought Simon with me this time so he could actually see the bug. And while I'm just walking in there, I see multiple like on the ground floor. We haven't used that house for months and months and months since we've had these cages. So um, there's an infestation and I picked one up. Um, oh wait, no, I didn't pick it up. I gr grabbed a piece of wool and then like pinched it in a corner because it was kind of hard for me to get to. I couldn't step on it. And it exploded with blood all over my hand. It smelt terrible. Sorry, I hope you're not eating anything right now. And I was so disgusted and we got that baby out of there. I was worried about her surviving the night. We've been checking on her. And um, yeah, that's whenever we found the new baby bunnies this morning. And come to find out that bug is the bug I was talking about, which freaks me out because that I was like in there handling them. <laughs> um, but our neighbor confirmed, I want to show him a picture of it, that it's the one that causes long-term heart, heart issues. But I didn't get bit by it, so I'm fine. And we're going to probably, we don't use chemicals on this property, even to kill ants. Um, we try to use diatomaceous earth to kill a lot of bugs. In this case, we're going to get some chemicals. We're going to fumigate that house, clear it out, because that bug is a real big issue in comparison to chemicals. So that's what's going on. Let's show you the bun buns. I was tying this guy up all morning because he's been in here and the mama bunny just hasn't been able to really relax as well with him in here. Oh boy, and that crazy tail. <gasps> Yeah, look how cute. We got two snuggling over here. <laughs> and then we got three over here. One is white with black spots. <laughs> how funny. Okay, mama. I'm going to leave you alone now. You're doing a great job. All right, I don't really know how this video is going to come together. I have been terrible at filming as much as I would really like to but even catching a few memories putting them together I'm gonna love looking back on in the future during my pregnancy so I've been cooking my brains off I've been sleeping a lot um, I've been working hard on our new website and we're also renaming from permaculture retreat center to Kaiway permaculture Bolivia taking on Simon's name making it a little more unique and personal so I've been working really hard on that. It's been fun. And Simon has been uh, constructing in the garden, expanding our garden area, organizing it better, creating a chicken tractor on steroids. And if you're a part of our Patreon, you're more aware of what's going on. We try to update there first before anywhere else. And thank you for supporting us there. So I'll see you guys in the next update video. Saludos. Saludos.